Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to prove the De Moivre's theorem. We're going to do it kind of in a similar fashion like we proved the multiplication theorem of complex numbers when they're in, in the polar form. But uh, let's see here. Here we have z to the n is equal to r to the n times cosine of n times the angle plus i times sine of n times the angle. If we assume that the polar form is equals r times the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. So what we should be able to do is first multiply two of these together. So what if we have z squared, which is equal to z times z? So we can already use the theorem that we proved before. This would be equal to r squared times the cosine of 2 theta plus i times the sine of 2 theta. Because what we're doing here is we're multiplying two of these together. So simply add the two angles together. So it's two angles, 2 theta, and angle the sines together. So that's sine of 2 theta there as well. So what happens now when we take z squared and we multiply it times z? Well, that would be equal to uh, r squared times r times the cosine of 2 theta plus i times the sine of 2 theta multiplied times the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. And then, of course, we can go ahead and say that's the same as what we did before. We're going to add the angles together. So then we can say that z cubed is equal to r cubed times the cosine of 2 theta plus theta plus i times the sine of 2 theta plus theta. And then, of course, we can see that z cubed is equal to r cubed times the cosine of 3 theta plus i times the sine of 3 theta, like that. And then we can just keep going. We can then multiply z cubed times z to get z to the fourth, and z to the fifth, and z to the sixth. And we can see that in each case, we'll get r to the n times the cosine of n times theta plus i times the sine of n times theta. So you can see that if we do this an infinite number of times, we can get z to any power. And so therefore, we can conclude that z to the n power, therefore, is equal to r to the n power times the cosine of n times theta plus i times the sine of n times theta. And you can see that's how de Moivre was able to prove his theorem. Very straightforward. And that's how we did it.